What's good, Wizards fans? Um, Philly fans have no class. They have no class. And we know this. The, all sports, all Philly fans, basketball, football, it doesn't matter what it is. They don't know how to win with class. They don't know how to lose with class. They have no class. It is what it is. You know, when they won the Super Bowl, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, when they won their only Super Bowl, they was eating horse dung, horse poo off the streets. I wish they, I really wish Russell Westbrook could have went up there and run our tests. Meta world piece, those fans. I really, if y'all didn't see them throw popcorn at this man, this man Russell Westbrook is minding his business. And already, they was already mouthing this man because he already went out, he, he tweaked his ankle earlier in the game and they was mouthing off. I saw, I was like, yeah, Russell Westbrook was chirping back and forth with the fans. And we all we already noticed he always goes back and forth with the fans, especially in Philly. Philly fans, they gave him the middle finger. They always trying to mess with Russ. Remember Isaiah Thomas? They said something that said little mighty IT and IT went up in the stands and was about to check the fans for real. So this is just not a Russell Westbrook thing. This is a Philly fan thing. They have no class. Boo Santa Claus. Philly fans that they're just losers. They're just losers. It is what it is. You know, they, they probably will they're gonna win this series. We're not gonna win this series. We're just not. We're just not we're not deep enough. Our team isn't deep enough. They got too much. Ben Simmons is 6'9", and can defend. Matisse Thibault is 6'7", six, 6'8", six, six, and can defend. Uh, Embiid is tall as a mug. He can defend. Dwight Howard can defend. They just got some big guys, man. Tobias Harris is 6'8", and is scoring like he's Scottie Pippen. Michael, uh, Not Michael Jordan, but he looks like he's freaking Scottie Pippen almost out, out, out there, man. Hitting, hitting turnaround jump shots, you know, just doing whatever he feels like doing, honestly. We just cannot stop. We struggled to stop these guys. We gave 120 points. We didn't score over 100 points. And we're, we're typically a team that scores over 100 points. We're, we just play ISO ball, and they're just stopping it. You know, it's too easy to defend. We don't move. We don't set screens. We don't have a lot of plays to get guys open. We don't have a lot of guys that can create a shot for themselves other than Bradley Bill and Russell Westbrook and Ish Smith. Uh, maybe Rui occasionally. Davies Berton, zero points. Had a donut tonight. Zero points and six fouls. Six fouls and zero points. I mean, that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable. You know, you can pay five, five, $80 million over five years. $80 million over five years. Like, it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense, man. Philly fans, they just have no class, man. Once again, they have no class. Like I said, they don't know how to win. They don't know how to lose. When they won their only Super Bowl, they were burning cars, burning stuff up. They just don't know how to act, man. It is what it is. They're just the scum of the earth. They're always getting in fights. They really are. They're just losers, man. They really are. I'm tired of Philly fans. That's why we swept the, that's, that's why we swept the Eagles this year, man, for real. We're going to do it again this year. I can't wait for the football team to sweep the Eagles. I can't wait. We're going to take it to them in their house, eat the cookies off the plate, and all that. I can't wait. Um, I think we might get one game, if that, but they're, they're just the better team. Right now, we knew that coming in. You know, um, I was like, do we want the Nets or the Philly Sixers? It was a lose lose situation, but uh, we're, we're getting we're getting our bus kicked. I, I think we I think we still I think we get one at home. I think we get one at home if Russ plays. But Russ Russ has not played well at all. He has not played well this series. Um, what was he two for ten tonight? He had a double double, but didn't he, he didn't get a triple double. But he just hasn't been himself in this series. Not aggressive, not taking it to the cup, passing the ball too much. And when he does shoot the three, it's a brick. Um, Bradley Bill was phenomenal tonight, 33 points tonight, but just not enough. Um, they tried to throw in Chandler Hutchinson. Gafford played pretty well. He had 14 points. Uh, but free throws killed us, man. We missed, what, 10 free throws. I got to look at the numbers here, but we just could not hit a free throw tonight. Like 19 for 30 from the free throw line. We're not good enough to be that bad from the free throw line. We have to be basically perfect to stay in the game with these guys. Um, 19 for 30 from the free throw line is not going to get it. It's not going to get it done. Just not. Um, three point line, two for 22. We were just ice cold. And I, I think we will shoot better at home. We're going to have some fans in the stands. Um, they're allowing like what, I forgot the capacity, but there's going to be fans in the stands for game three and game four. And we should have somewhat of a home court advantage there. Um, but tonight it was it was a struggle, man. It was a struggle. We're, we have the same lineup with Neto and smaller guys. We got to match their height here. You know, Chandler Hutchinson is going to have to get some more playing time. And uh, Anthony Gill might have to get some more playing time. We just need some guys that are taller and athletic, you know, I like, I do like Neto, I do like him, but you might have to come off the bench and he can provide, he can provide a spark off the bench, kind of like how Gaffer does, but we have to match up with Tobias Harris, we have to match up with T Matisse Thibault, 
We gotta match up with their height, man, because they're they're killing us, man. Ben Simmons, six nine. They they're just killing us right now, and we're not matching up well, uh, rebounding the ball, and we're not matching up well defending uh, these guys. And we're just not. We cannot we cannot double team Joel Embiid anymore because he's finding open shooters like Seth Curry, Danny Green, uh, George Hill, guys like that. He's just finding open shooters every Tobias Harris. Um. So we can't double these guys. So um, that's it. I'm not going to go too long because we got blown out by, what, 25, 30 points. It was just ridiculous tonight. So um, can't blame the refs. Just got to blame, you know, what we do. This is who we are. We're an isolation team. We got we just we just don't have a philosophy or, or a mindset or a game plan to move the basketball around and get guys open. We just don't play that way. We are the number one isolation team, and we play with – we are the number one pace team with fast break basketball we're a team where the game has to be fast, and if the game is slowed down, it's not gonna it's not gonna end pretty. I mean, we were pretty good in the first quarter. Where it was an up and down game, the feed, the pace was fast, and uh, we were making some shots. But after that first quarter, it just went down. We were down by fourteen at the half, and uh, we're not making free throws. Two for twenty two from the three point line, and nineteen for thirty from the from the free throw line. So we were just ice cold. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get about here. We play again on Saturday, so let's see what happens. Let's see if we can at least get one. And then if we can get one on game three, then, you know, we got some momentum. And let's see what happens. So, health and Wizards, man. Health and football team. You already know what it is. Peace. Brad, I mean, what's his name? I really wish Russ could have run our test that, man. All right, y'all. Peace.